On an object in equilibrium, all forces are balanced. Let's take a few examples. Here we've got a donkey out in deep space, and you can see we've put a little space suit on him so that he'll be safe. A free body diagram of the donkey would simply be this. No forces acting on him. If he's very, very far from any planetary bodies, there are no gravitational forces to speak of. He's not touching a surface. He's just floating out in deep space. That donkey is in equilibrium. And if he's at rest, he's going to stay at rest. In other words, if he's not moving, he's going to keep not moving. But if he's moving, let's say, to the left at 5 meters per second, he's going to continue moving at 5 meters per second. His state of motion, in other words, is not going to change. Whether he's at rest or whether he's moving at a constant speed, his state of motion is going to remain exactly the same. Let's take the same donkey, we'll bring him back to Earth now, and let's draw a free body diagram of the donkey. There's the weight of the donkey, m times g, acting straight down. There's a normal force from the surface of the Earth holding the donkey up, and that's it. And you can see that just like in the first example when the donkey was in deep space, the net force on this donkey will be zero. The weight and the normal force will cancel each other. These are two examples of objects in equilibrium. This first one has no force at all acting on it. The one in the lower right has two forces, but they exactly cancel each other, so there's no net force. Now, let's take the case of the donkey that is being pushed by a green alien. If we were to draw a free body diagram of the donkey now, we would have the weight acting downward, m times g, the normal force from the surface of the earth holding the donkey up. We've got the force from the alien pushing to the left, and then there's static friction pushing to the right. The normal force and the weight are exactly equal in magnitude and cancel each other, and the applied force from the alien is exactly canceled by the static friction force. This donkey also is in equilibrium. There is no net force on this donkey either. So an object in equilibrium is either standing still or is moving at a constant non-zero velocity. In other words, an object in equilibrium is not accelerating. And the net force on such an object is zero. That's what we mean by an object in equilibrium. The net force on an object is zero, and if it's standing still, it's going to keep standing still, or if it's moving at a constant non-zero velocity, its velocity will not change. It won't speed up, it won't slow down, it won't change direction. In short, it's not accelerating. Let's suppose we're out in deep space, and there's this mass just floating out there, far from any planetary bodies, so there's no weight to speak of, and we're going to apply a 20 newton force from the left. Let's look at this table down here. At the moment the force is applied, if the box is at rest, what's going to happen? And you'll say, well, the box is going to start moving to the right. Suppose the box is already moving to the right at 20 meters per second. So here it comes from the left side of the screen, and it's moving 20 meters per second, 20 meters per second, 20 meters per second. And right when it gets here, we give it a little push with this 20 newton force. Won't it speed up? And the answer is yes, it will speed up. Suppose we take the last case at the bottom of the table. Suppose it's already moving to the left. And just as it gets to us, we apply a 20 newton force in that direction. And you can see that the 20 newton force opposes the motion. Now, we might not bring the object to a complete halt in a short amount of time, but we're certainly going to get it to slow down. In other words, if we have, and hopefully you can see from the picture, there is definitely a 20 newton net force on this mass. No matter what the mass was doing, it's going to accelerate. If it was at rest, it's going to start moving. That's an acceleration. If it's already moving to the right, it's going to speed up to the right. That's an acceleration. If it's already moving to the left, it's going to start to slow down. That's an acceleration. So this object is not in equilibrium. Let's say we're still in deep space. Now we have a mass with two 30 newton forces 
pushing on it from either side. What if the box is at rest and suddenly we apply simultaneously these two 30 Newton forces? Well, the object is going to remain at rest. If the mass is already moving, it's moving from one side and as it passes us, we push it with 30 Newtons on each side. Well, it's not going to speed up, it's not going to slow down because those forces cancel. So it's going to continue moving at that constant velocity. This object is in equilibrium. Sometimes the net force is zero in one direction but not zero in another. Here we have a free body diagram where, as you can see at the bottom, the normal force and the weight both have a magnitude of 100 newtons. That is, in the up and down direction, the net force is zero. In the left-right, or x direction, the net force is 30 newtons to the right. Because we're pulling with 80 newtons to the right on one side of the box, and kinetic friction is 50 newtons to the left. So the net is 30 newtons to the right. In other words, this mass is in vertical equilibrium only. Final thoughts on equilibrium. For now, an object is in equilibrium if there is zero net force acting on it. An object in equilibrium could have many forces acting on it, but they would cancel to yield a net of zero. For any given direction, we must assign a positive and a negative sense so we know when to add forces and when to subtract them. It is a common misconception that a moving object must have a net force acting on it. If the object is moving at constant velocity, and that includes a velocity of zero, it is in equilibrium and the net force on it is zero.